Right. Um, Al, Fudge, Terry. Terry, well, we're 60 diesels, obviously. Terry's like an honorary, honorary member is, at the moment. Add on. Add on. Yeah, he got yeah, the wrong shirt on. Got, but he's... So we're, we're in obviously, an obviously a secret, secret location um, to look at something that you built. Yep, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah, which was one of the, you know when you have one of those ideas where you think, I'm going to do that? Mm-hmm. That's just one of them. I have them stupid ideas where you think, I'm going to make one of those in one of well, those. Well, half of it was sat rotting away in your yard for God knows how long. Yeah, I think you came for a little while and it was there for like... I reckon you had it two years. Two or three years? Yeah, and then everyone kept trying to buy it, didn't they? Got more and more rusty. More and more rusty. This is the reason it got cut up in the first place, because Tom bought it and he thought it was lovely, and then it turned out not to be, didn't it? No, the cells are hanging off it. Everything so, everything's everything off is hanging off of it. So what Terry decided to do was turn... I won't tell him what it is. It was an E36? E36 Touring. Touring, 328i, manual. Yeah, manual. And then you might not have a Ford Orion, Mark V. Then you mint, decided a to, mint Ford Orion. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, a lovely one-owner rot-free rot Ford Orion. Mm-hmm. So you decided to have, like, a... BMW Ryan half child. To be honest, I got a tape measure out and went across it. Yeah. I went, oh, this is going to go under the arches. Not lengthways, we have yeah. to take some out of the length. Yeah, yeah, yeah make her a yeah. bit shorter. Yeah, we did. Six uh, and thought, I, think it was. I can make something out of the two. Yeah. I suppose what we ought to do is introduce these people to one of your crazy ideas. Yeah. Because you've got quite a few of them, haven't you? Haven't we got a Starlet over there with a Type R engine in it? We have. Yeah, that you're considering <laughs> even selling. So we can also do that whilst we're at it, you know, because we, we sell it to the, the YouTube. The only problem is it's a little bit green at the minute. Well, I think that adds patina. That's quite a class piece of engineering, that. I mean, it's a suicide yeah. machine. It is, it yeah. is. It does like an occasional suicide machine, and you can't look in the background, because all that over there is hidden and cheated treasure. That's another day. That's another yeah, day. that's another day. Right, let's go and turn this camera around, and we'll bring an Arunion in. A runyon. A runyon. So you can hear the harmonious bumblings of a 286 cylinder BMW engine. But this bit will confuse you all slightly because it'll be here in a second. Because that is a Mark V Ford Orion, isn't it? That is. Apart from the fact that obviously it sounds like a BMW and it's, um, and it's got five stub wheels on it. It has. It looks right though, doesn't it? It does look like the Runyon, doesn't it? It does. Behold. Behold that. So this is purely, I like the single wiper conversion. There's a story behind that. Ah. Oh. I don't know if you really want the oh, we, we, we can get We can get there in a minute. Is, is it a bit of a... There's not a lot of room under the bonnet for a wiper. Ah, that's ah. probably because he's half of BMW, yeah, we'll isn't it? We'll see in a minute. We'll see in a minute. <laughs> we'll, we'll go on mobile camera ring and tour around. I can do my cameraman bit. So, apart from the fact that you'll notice the BBS alley wheels, which are BMW, aren't they? And yeah. the five studs. Yeah. From the outside, that looks like a really clean and shiny tourmaline green. That is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad had a tourmaline yeah. green estate, new, which I reshaped for him by rolling it five times and smashing it to pieces. <laughs> Very chuffed about that. <laughs> it's forgiven me now. Um, yeah, on an L. So, identical car apart from his was obviously an estate. But that is... some. Um, a complete sleeper, isn't it? So we're going to grab... That was the idea. Yes, that no one would no one would know. And technically, you've done everything so she could be the road legals if you needed her to be. She's got everything on it. So you've got lights, flashers... Even a horn. Blimey, mate. Crikey. I know, it's unbelievable. Yes, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, let's grab this camera and we'll go wander around. So what exhaust system have you got running on this? I've made it. So, to all intents and purposes, from the outside, <laughs> okay. we'll go around here. That is a tourmaline yeah. green... Mark V, Ford Orion. It was a lovely, like, 30-something thousand mile one old boy owner one, wasn't it, Ter? It says no previous owners on the No Mark previous. Three. So you are the second owner, but you might have changed it slightly. Ruined it. Well, Better I don't think, I don't I think, think you can be described as ruined. It's an improvement because no one wants a Mark V Escort with a boot on it. No, no, no one wants Mark V Escorts really at all, apart from the two-door whizzy one, do they? Yeah. And the fact that it's the Escort's gone back to its originality being so rear wheel drive. We just lean in here and drive. quickly open this door. You'll see that that would appear to be a Mark V Orion dashboard. I do love the way that we've got a set of BMW E36 gauges fitted in there rather nicely, haven't we? That's BMW. That's BMW. And then we've got a slightly longer steering column because you appear to be sat in boot. <laughs> and anyone that knows anything may notice that this bit at the bottom here isn't really, it's not very FUD, is it? So, that bit down, that bit there, all this bit here, is 
You even got the BMW spare tyre thingy in the boot. It's the whole yeah. floor. It's the whole floor. Crikey. So obviously she is track days back, isn't she? So, yeah. so basically, which so the inner sills are Orion or BMW? So this inner sill is Orion because it was a rust-free Ford and I'd never seen one. Yeah. So it's cut here. All the way through. Right the way. And then it's cut across here. Because I've got six inches out of the back. Yeah, 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 basically out of the back. it, slid it back in. It's joined on the wheel arch line. Hey, one nice. on the side. Yeah, so, there. So that's the... BMW seat box with the fuel pumps and the gauges. So that's BMW. That's BMW. That's BMW, BMW. That's BMW up to there. I'm even confusing myself now. Yeah, and then and Ford. Then Ford takes over, but obviously you can see, just by coincidence, they're nearly the same colour. Yes, because you haven't actually painted the thing, have you? The, only the, blown in the bits. Only blown in the bits that weren't green. This is fabricated a bit to get some strength back in it. But, yeah. Um, no, to beat it. Well, we can open the boot, if you like. Yeah, so what you have invented yourself is a five-speed 2.8 manual rear wheel drive mark 5 ryan that's right that is totally sensible it's even got the ford badge stuck in the middle of the steering wheel just because oh, yeah 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 just because so that i mean what sort of horsepowers are we then but there is another engine waiting in store but I'm not really telling anyone about that. No, 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 no. You can, you can, you can keep your big right? the, 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 the secret. Shall we have a look under the bonnet? I mean, you really would not know from the outside, would you? Apart no. from the single wiper conversion. See, I just if I saw that, I thought, oh, they've put some wide wheels on it, lowered it. Yeah. Exactly, which is what I wanted to do. Yeah. To be honest, if I'd have measured it and the wheels weren't going to go under it, I wouldn't have even started it. No. no. But they're an eight-inch wide wheel, then, and they fit. They fit like beautifully, the don't they? It, it? That is really nice. Really nice. So obviously, under here is a transverse 1600cc poverty spec escort engine. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You didn't. You didn't bother changing that, no. Two layers compliant. Yeah, you totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> blimey. Oh my goodness. So that's BMW front suspension strut, isn't it? Right, so if you want me to point it all Yeah, out. let me move back a bit. Right, I'll go so, back over here. This is Ford, so slam panels Ford. Yeah. And obviously the outer wings are Ford. Yeah. But everything from that line there in, so these, the turret, yeah. the chassis legs, the fuse box, some of the wiring, obviously the, the engine. Yeah. It's all BMW. So everything electrical on it is E36. 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 So 2.86 cylinder. Yeah. M52. Yeah. And I see what you mean on the wipers. It's a bit so close. It's, it's a bit close. But it works. Yeah, no, as long as it wipes mm -hmm. the screen. Because for that one, there seemed to be a servo in the way. Oh, yes. Yeah, which wouldn't have been there originally, it's obviously. Because most uh, track cars only have a single wiper on them anyway. Yeah. It's, and as long as it does I'm the wipe. I'm not worried about the passengers being able to see No, 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 no. It's not entirely. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. We won't ask you how many hours this took you. I think it was quicker than you thought for, wasn't it? Well, I, I think I remember you asking me, and I said, well, actually, it's done. Yes, when I thought it was still a Bear working... Never mind, it was a weekendy sort of thing. I think six months saw it... Saw it back, done, yeah. saw it in one lump. Yeah, it did, it did see it. That's good going. I suppose we ought to have a look in the boot. Do we need the key? I suppose we do, don't we? It's Ford, isn't it? Yeah. It's Ford, yeah. BMW flash. Oh, we've got the two keys. We've got two two keys. And the light in the... Oh, does it work? Of course it doesn't. Nothing, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing works. works. So, that's the complete estate boot, or is that FUD? No, can't be. No, that's BMW, isn't it? It's confusing, isn't it? Yes. It's confusing me, right. Yeah, right. BMW? Yeah. Both sides? Yeah. Mm -hmm. BMW chassis legs? Yeah. BMW floor and spare Yeah, because the, the BMW was a touring, wasn't it? it was yeah, in the state. Right. So they've joined it in, in there. Here. So I've made these to strengthen it up and tie it into the back panel. Yeah. And I've made these infill panels. So that's BMW out to there. Yeah, and, and then, then, then I've rolled made in the middle. This again. I've made just to mingle it all together. It does look sort of factory, doesn't it? It, it does. Like it was there, it, it does. 
See, why didn't Fords actually come up with something as cool as this? Especially when it well, I, I suppose big. they did make an Escort Cosper, didn't they? That was four-wheel drive. Yeah. yeah but well, anyway. I think this is actually better, because an Escort Cosper's a bit... I don't know. It's a bit nice, but... No. You like, you like the fact that you can steer with the rear, isn't it? Well, that as well, yeah. <laughs> that is mental. <laughs> we like a bit of that. Me too. I mean, the bit that you just wouldn't know. Because, I mean, it, the paint colour is... It's pretty close, isn't it? I mean, I don't know what the BMW green was. I actually thought, when I first looked at this, I thought, bloody hell, he's gone the whole hog and resprayed the interior. Yeah, no, only the bits we joined. Ah. But it's, um... I would have thought it's fairly exciting, isn't it? It works far, far better than you'd expect it to. See, because it's basically must be lighter than what a BMW was. Not the worst. If you bear in mind that BMW platform E36 is good anyway. Yeah. But then you, this is a thousand kilograms, so it's a lot lighter. It's nimble as hell. And you put adjustable expense suspension and stuff yeah, on HFDs it, by the D's on it and bigger brakes and pads. And you did make a Ford magazine. Didn't I see you in fast Ford with yeah, it? That's right. It's in there. Look at that. I mean, you, the, the amazing bit is you would, to be honest, you wouldn't know, would you? I mean, if they was Ford centre caps. You wouldn't pick it at all from the yeah, outside. No, you wouldn't. But it drives in a straight line. It doesn't crab down the road or anything dark. Well, I suppose, to be honest, you've changed none of the suspension mounting points at all, have you? Well, I haven't, but I did take six inches out the middle. But then, to be honest, it's probably about the same length as a standard three-door E36, I would have thought, wouldn't it? Maybe slightly longer. No, believe it or not, Torrens is exactly the same wheelbase. Is it? They yeah. use, oh, and I don't, must admit, I'm not a great BMW man. I gave yeah, up I after. Six inches taken out of it and, yeah, it I, I gave up after E30. Shorten the prop shaft and away you go. Well, I'm making it sound a bit less than it was. But, but yes, you had to have that balance. But it runs you. a BMW saddle, fuel tank. It's all, yeah. it's all BMW, all of it. Apart from a full body shaft. Yeah. That is bugger. So no, that is pretty impressive. Now, sadly, obviously, because this is a track day car at current, there is no hooning it up and down the roads of Britain, and you lot can't tell us off for hooning it up and down the roads of Britain. You've got to wait for it to get dark. You've got to wait for it either <laughs> to get dark. No, 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 no. We've got to, when, it, when it comes to a sort of a, a, a testing basis, it's going to need to be on a track unless you decide to MOT it, isn't it? Yeah, which yeah, I could yeah. do. Yes, yes, you say, it's got lights, it's got honest, everything. 99% more mechanically together than most cars I repair on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah it, well, it's, all, it's all shiny, isn't it? Yeah. So um, we'll leave this one here, but look at that. And we might come back to this once this hooligan's decided to point it around a racetrack if we can find some footage of it. Yeah. And if you want to find an article more in depth on it, there is a Fast Ford magazine with Mr Davies and this in it. I can't remember the month, but I'll look it up and show you. Yeah, yeah, well, well that, it'll give them something to do. They can find it, can Google they? It. Google, Google it. it. Google, Google it. it. There can't be that many Orions on the front cover. No, there can't be that many BMW-based <laughs> Orion if ever. If ever, yeah. hooligan <laughs> wagons on the front cover of a fast Ford magazine. I mean, you must have almost have upset them when you turned up with your BMW loved BMW Ford love child. Do you know what? There was one bloke at Castle Coombe that was looking round at the same <coughs> time. And he's looking all inside. He turns around and he goes, he's being... You know, mm. truthful, however, however you want to put it. And he said, is this a special edition of Fordville? And I was like, yeah, that do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, yes. Yes, 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 yes it was, obviously, yes, yes. yes. Mode sport division. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so obviously... I'm now recovery trucking, so that'll be Wednesday, I expect, unless I decide to go engine building. Fudgy is maintaining his TT. It's Nagaro Blue TT, rare colour. And that's the bashing noise that you can hear in the background. Have you decided to put brakes on your car now, Fudge? I most certainly have. What, to make it stop? Like, to so actually, actually make it stop, yeah, because they, they were a bit bad. And you've got rid of that super racing slick rear tyre that you had. I see that you've got a new one on there. My Formula One tyre has now retired. Retired? So have you got one to match for the other side, or are we keeping it poverty spec on that side? Oh, it's poverty spec on the one side. Right, that's good. Anyway, so a bit of a short video, but that thing is quite cool. So, most likely I'm going to keep trucking stuff for Wednesday, and we will see you people Wednesday, or if not, next Sunday.